to remember their history, the history of the prehistoric period. So all these legends hide a secret behind the beautiful stories. The next time you will listen to a Greek legend or you will read the Greek myth, try to find the truth which is behind the story. It will be like a game for you. You will enjoy it. <laughs> the Cape Union with the Temple of Poseidon. As I told you, the sea we have on the right is Phaliron Bay. This suburb is named Old Phaliron. Phaliron Bay was the harbor of Athens from 2500 years BC up to the 6th century uh, BC. At the end of the 6th century BC, they started to build bigger ships. So they needed deeper sea and they moved from Phaliron to Piraeus and since then Piraeus is the port of Athens. The sea we have on the right is named Saron Gulf. It's a part of the Aegean Sea of course. Uh, you know Greece is a big peninsula so we have the sea all around us. On the west we have Ionian Sea. On the east we have Aegean Sea. You are on the east of Greece, so this is a GNC, and this is a small part of the GNC Saronic Gulf. On the right at the distance you see the mountains of another island close to Athens, the island Aegina. Aegina has a very long history. Since 4,500 years BC there were installations, villages and later big cities on this island. Um, uh, the Greeks uh, went to Aegina. We know that um, the citizens of that uh, island, uh, the inhabitants rather of this island, uh, were very good sailors and they went up to Spain to import silver. The of the Second World War, it has graves of New Zealand and Australian soldiers. They came the last year of uh, the war to help the Greeks against the, the Germans. Some of them died here and buried them in that graveyard. Now we are in another suburb of Athens. It's named Kalamaki. Kalamaki means, means something like a small bamboo. On the right, we have uh, uh, the biggest marina uh, of Athens, the marina of Kalamaki. Water, and some of them uh, fish, uh, they get uh, octopus because the bottom of the sea is very rocky and there are a lot of octopus here. You know, octopus goes with the uh, ooze of the Greek.
the churches of the Greek island. A lot of arches and in white color. In front to the right you see a small island. You can go to this island even uh, walking. There is a, a path that joins the island with the mainland and on this island we have found the remains of the pro watch one hour it's uh, a quarter to five a quarter to six according the clock of uh, the bus we shall leave oh. so the bus will be at the same place you will find it right here more toilets are in that building in front of you next to the shop there are more toilets but uh, the cafe has also toilets there uh, please follow me same tribe, the same race, they spoke the same language, they had exactly the same god, the great god of Hollywood, and the same customs, and when the enemies uh, 
were coming from abroad, like the Persians, for example, I told you about them in a few words. All the Greeks gathered together and told the enemy. When they didn't have problems with their neighbors, they had civil wars all the time. So Athens, in the fifth century BC, Athens was a very powerful city. And it controlled some other cities. That's why it also controls this area. And you have been in Athens, and some of you have been on the Acropolis, and you know that the main goddess of the city of Athens was the goddess Athena. So they couldn't kick out the goddess Athena from this area. Okay, they got Poseidon and the help of Poseidon for the sea and the sailing, but they also wanted to have a temple for, for their goddess. And they built it on the lower hill over there. You see the flat hill with white marble pieces on the top. There was a simple, a small, simple temple dedicated to the goddess Athena Sunias. The most important temple was up there, on the top of this hill. Let's go. Show you where we are. I brought a map of Greece. This is Greece. Here is Turkey. Here is Bulgaria, ex Yugoslavia, Albania. So, a peninsula, Ionian Sea on this side, Aegean Sea on the other side. Athens is here. Saroni Gulf is the Gulf you have behind you. This is Saroni Gulf, it's a part of Aegean Sea. All of it Mediterranean, as I said in the past. Uh, we drove from here, Athens, to this corner of the province Attica. Here is the Cape Sunion, a place between two seas, was dedicated to the god of the sea, of course. It was a shrine, like a goodbye for the sailors, or a welcome on the way back to the port <laughs> and it has a very important strategic position you see that it is at the beginning of Saron Gulf and that's why the Athenians built a watchtower here to control the ships which were going to Piraeus. Piraeus is here so they control all the ships which were going from the east to Athens and uh, in the 6th century BC built the first temple of Poseidon. That first temple was destroyed by the Persians. Those who have been on the Acropolis, you know that uh, on the Acropolis there were temples before the last temples you have seen today. And built the last temple you see uh, over here. It has the same age of the buildings of the Acropolis, 5th century BC classical period. Look how it looked like this place in the ancient period. On the top of the hill was a sanctuary, not only a temple. Sanctuary is a temple and some other buildings around it which serve the temple. With two porches, one on the east and one on the west. And the third style is like this. It, there is a big room in the center of the construction. The room was divided in three. In front there is a lobby. Then uh, is the main room where was the statue of the god in the center. We haven't found this statue, so we don't know how it looked like sitting on a throne or standing the god of the sea. And at the back there was a third room where they kept the valuable offerings. Sometimes the offerings were made of silver, gold, ivory, and they protected them from the weather in the back uh, room of the temples. All around the main room, there were colonnades. It's like Parthenon. Those who have been on the Acropolis, you've seen the same style. The room and the colonnades all around it. Here we have Dory. It's not around this place. And it doesn't So the marble now is very wide. 
And go back. Okay. Now it's better. Really? Yes. Very good. Very good, sir. Four hundred huge ceramic vases, only in the palace of uh, Knossos, the biggest city of Crete. And there were four hundred huge vases in the basement of this palace for wine and olive oil. Uh, the Minoans were sailors, very good sailors. They sailed all over Mediterranean and they were very good merchants and they didn't have wars on their islands. They didn't uh, fought each other. It was a very peaceful civilization. Some centuries later, when the Greeks came here in mainland, in continental Greece, and they started to develop their own civilization, they also started to sail on the same sea. And the Minoans were not happy about it. They believed that they owned the sea. So they demanded the Greeks to pay taxes to them, something like the tolls we pay now on uh, the highways.